What is up guys? This is the Gap Kitten and we are back. Last time we explored a cave. One cave. Singular. And it was an adventure. We killed some dragons. And uh Yeah. Pretty much took the entire episode. We got some better armor. We used almost all of our arrows. But we got some money and I'm so sorry, turtle. <coughs> Ouch. This is why I bow and arrow you people, but you already saw me. We know how to hunt, so this should also give us quite some money. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back to the cave entrances. do have to keep an eye out on arrows. I mean, we have 200 still, but we found a better bow in the cave as well. We'll go loot it in a minute, but it's definitely not going to be a 100% completion playthrough. And I'm not going to explore everything as thoroughly as right now but we're in the beginning of the game we need resources apparently we can't even kill a turtle with a bow and arrow okay there we go in his foot this is peaceful compared to the other <laughs> Compared to last episode, this is very peaceful. Okay, here's the one we still have to loot. And then eventually we'll figure out what we can sell easily from the hunting supplies. But this seems like one of the best ways to make money, either this or blacksmithing. But I think getting the resources for blacksmithing is going to be a bit harder than just going around hunting things that you come across anyway. Look at that little island over there. I wonder if that's going to be something. Huh. A dead Mylurk. Okay. What did I say? My lurk? That's Fallout. Mine crawler. Getting my games mixed up. Okay. I think that was it because we saw the little ramp that goes up back to town. Yeah, we looted you. Wow, the weather must have been horrendous that you got blown down here. Go up this little ledge to see if there's anything over there. Not particularly. So and then now we're going to do this green patch and then we're going to do that part of the beach. And then get up to Jack to his lighthouse. I guess. And then we're going to have to look at our quest log to kind of try and figure out... Let's see how this goes. Because I know they run away when you hit them. Okay, that's not an issue anymore. Beautiful. But this game is so vast, the chances of you missing something is 
big. Like I'm not gonna have all the permanent plants. I'm not gonna. Who are you people? Bandits, okay. In that case, let me introduce you guys to my new Hashishimbo. Where is the strongest among you? <laughs> Definitely you. Okay. Stop. Oh, why did you do that? There we go. No weapon? Did I pick up your weapon? Working with bow and arrow, I have a tendency to hope that I can get the strongest person first. So that if it... more bundles of weapons. So that if it will come to a direct altercation, at least they're not as strong. Sometimes it's not very obvious. Snap a wheat. Goods delivery. Three of them. Okay, fair enough. We found his goods. I'm pretty sure nobody came looking for them because that was not as hard. And Buford looks like he could, you know, swamp wheat. They have swamp weed here? Nice. Oh, well, I mean, duh. When, when I saw the... Uh, how do they call it in this game? When I saw the black row bar, I could have guessed, but... For all we know, that we brought it from somewhere, or they brought it from Corinna's. On the beach, though? This seems like a dry, warm beach, not a swampy area. There's no one behind the bushes. Can I hit it behind the bushes? Turtle, I will get to you in a minute. But I prefer to use my sword on you, because your shield. Feels so bad. But I mean, if I kill four turtles, that's 100 XP. That's more than a lurker. You know, in that regard. Lockpick used. How many lockpicks do we still have? 20. That's not that bad. And I could sell my spells, but... You never know when they come in handy, you know? There has been plenty of time in our gothic playthroughs in the past where we got in a pickle and some magic fixed it right up for us. More swamp weed. I'm sure, less. Commander Rollo, but he's red. I think I'm not gonna take any chances. If he's red, I highly doubt he's gonna talk to us. Oh, wow. He's going to annihilate us. Stop right there, you coward. It's a pirate. I 
I won't let you get away. I was afraid of that. Oh, you were all strong. Okay, you know what? Maybe they just have high defense against bow and arrow, but I cannot take that guy on, on my own in first hand combat, I'm sure. Stop right there, you coward. Just need to get him in the head. There we go. Rapier. Ooh. Oh, that makes me very happy, I think. You were a sponge, though. Look at you. Rapier. It's worn, though. Can we fix it? Is there any way to fix... Huh. I don't know, but if there's a way to fix it. There's another one. There is indeed another one. That's a land lover. So I'll get you after all. He's a land lover, why is he with the pirates? Thought the whole definition of that was that they like land. You guys were just living... Just living side by side with this lurker. That wind though. Chicken? They came here for a chicken? They didn't have any notes on them or anything? Notes? No notes? Huh, okay. Fair enough. Just random pirates. What is coming for us? Oh, you are coming for us. Okay, you're not as bad as I thought you were going to be. And then there's this guy. We remember this guy. Fisher... What's going on over here? Just a bunch of plants. A king sorrel. And a goblin berry. See, these are plants I can get behind. This is kind of like that area. Oh lord. Oh lord, we're dead. It's kind of like that area right next to, was it the south gate? Where you could find one of each of the plants, pretty much. I'll tear your head off. Yeah, some assistance would be great. 
I need to make a run again. Heal up. How many are left? Ooh. Oh, I cannot believe we survived this. Are you guys fighting something? I hear people fighting something. Did you guys get the backlash of one of my wolves? Nope, that sounds like orcs. We're gonna have to come back. And we're gonna have to make some healing potions. <laughs> Didn't we already have like an ambush over here? Am I good or good am I good? Is a dead orc. What was going on here, people? Every time I come here, That's it's like know. chaos and despair. I don't believe a word. And I was just trying to get away from some wolves. Okay. So wolves are not like hungry wolves. Wolves will actually eat your face. Good to know. Unpleasant to experience and find out though. But by the time we are going to be able to make permanent potions, there will be a high requirement of me to control myself and not eat the perma potions. Because I had learned my le lesson in Gothic 2 that it's better to just make the potions. Unless that's not the case in this game. In that case, let me know. Okay, I think we pretty much covered it. Let's go see Jack in his lighthouse. I don't think we explored that area either. It's like behind Ardea. Make sure that we have looted all of you. You guys are my main source of income right now. Okay. There is so much to explore in this game, it's ridiculous. Is there a blacksmith here somewhere? Can I sell you stuff? Show me your goods. I mean, eventually I want them, but you have a rapier that is not worn. I will take it. You can have this. Someday this will be over. So we have a teleporter stone for everywhere we've been. We've been. That's good. Okay, we're gonna keep our orc slayer just a tad longer though, because it has that perk that kind of interests me. However, we are going to equip our rapier. Are our friends still here? Doesn't get much worse. Wolf or something? I don't think I want to hear Take care of yourself. He still will not talk to me. We have been on this island for five days and he still will not talk to me. Everybody's got problems, including me. Okay, lady. Um, could you move, sir? Because I kind of want to use your alchemist bench. No? Okay. Oh, will you? Just 
just scooch over. Just never mind. Okay, what I am going to keep an eye out for is permanent potions. I will pick things up as I go. But maybe go out of my way for permanent plants and plants that I don't recognize. Yes, dear, I want to eat you, however. What are you doing? Ahoy, matey! Headed for a great adventure! Nice tower you've got here. Aye. It's just right for an old salty dog like me. But it's a dangerous neighborhood, I tell you. These bilge rats are everywhere. They don't give an old sea dog a moment's peace. Have you seen any orcs? Heaven forbid. I hope they have better things to do than scare an old man. What bilge rats would those be? They're roaming the entire coast. Just walk up the coast a little ways to the northeast. They set up camp there, and they can't wait to cut my throat while I sleep. I'll take care of your bilge rats. You know, matey, I've no idea how I could ever make that up to you. Try and think of something. You take care of yourself, will you? Those scoundrels are dangerous! I heard you took gold from the rebels. <clears throat> yes. I think I can trust you with this. They were here, and asked me to let them know as soon as I see another ship. I think they're still hopeful that help will come from the sea someday. Well, we came, did you tell them? Give me the rebels' gold. And what did you do for me? Okay, fair enough. Help me with my bandit problem, then let's talk about gold. Fair enough. Show me your goods. You have a world map. I already have that recipe. It would be handy if you would know if you have the recipe. I will take these though. And maybe these. Any return? You can have these. It's always so hard to decide what to sell. Mm. Well, you can have part of this, but not all of them. And I don't know how to do that. Just take a few back. Still at 8k, that's not too bad. And there is a new type of enemy, Wild Blood Put Fly. down your weapon! Jesus! I'm just... Better? Can I not kill a blood fly? Not very friendly, is he? But so we had a jack with a lighthouse in the second one. And I am trying to recall to the best of my ability if there was a jack with a lighthouse in the first game. I don't think so because I'm pretty sure that the penal colony colony did not have a lighthouse. But so once more a jack with a lighthouse. Not the same jack I assume. Because then he would have been like, hey, it's you again. Stealing his stuff. Because that's what every self-respecting citizen would do. So what did he say? Past the coast? We just passed the entire coast, but it was not ticked off. It's old school gaming. Before there were quest markers. Oh! Korg's bodyguard. Does that mean there's a person called Korg? And can we aim at them first? Please. Ortega's 
That's a bandit that they were talking about. Pirate trader cork. Oh, it's gonna be horrid, isn't it? Okay. Usually bodyguards are stronger than the actual people, right? It's pretty much the same. What about you? Also not too bad. Oh, this is the people you wanted help with? They weren't that bad, Jack. Amulet and ring received. Map of Iltharoth Island. Huh. We got a bunch of weird stuff. Which means story. Nice, nice. Summon flaming sword. That sounds good. Okay, let's see. Sure, leave special friends. Go back trading. I don't want trouble again. Last sure leave you had smashed Ortega's bloke his go pretty bad. Fortunately, Ortega didn't like him neither. Otherwise, we had to look for another middleman. Meet his new guys on the rock cliff near the coastal village. The village is named Ardrian or so. That is your last chance. Get it and crack Gorm the Strat. Improve your scroll. Every other world is misspelled. That doesn't happen on my ship, Roger. Not more than 500 gold coins. It's not of that value. Okay, that was kind of like my pirate accent, which is kind of more... I don't know. It was horrible. <laughs> you make the deal. Tomorrow the guys will be back again. I want to see you at the arranged meeting point. Take along the stuff from the second chest and bargain a good price for it. No more than 600 gold coins per item. I don't want to catch sight of you again. Don't forget, they need the stuff. And watch your gob if you plan to. Screw them. They'll make short shrift of you, Ortega. Okay. However, I did not see the map of Erdoroth anywhere. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Let's take it. Mm. Here, can we look at it? No, we cannot. But we have a map of Erdoroth. And the key to Wenzel's cell. Oh yeah, we still have to go talk to Wenzel. Um, and the goods. So we passed there again anyway. Okay, Jack. I need your assistance. Well, actually, you needed mine, and I done it. I need your gold, is what I need. Jack? Oh, you're still bent over? The bilge rats will never bother you again. Ah, I knew you'd help me out, matey. I don't have a whole lot I can give you, but take this as a reward. Keep your chin up. Give me the rebel's gold. Yes, all right. What's an old sailor to do with that much gold? But promise me you won't squander it. I promise I will not squander it. Okay, thank you, bye. So that was that. Let's look at... Wow, this went down like a good while. Um, yeah, these are f f at some point. Same with this one and this one and this one. So all we have to do is bring his good ba goods back to Urcross, but we also still have to go talk to the paladin. For sure. So, I guess that's Cape done. I don't know if we still have to go talk to the rebels about something. Well, that worked. Okay. Oh yeah, we have to see if we can cook stuff in a cooking pot. Okay, nothing more for you to say. I think this stuff belongs to you. Well then, give it here. Good. What else do you want? Go on, beat it. What about my reward? Reward? All right, here, take this gold. And now, beat it! Thank you very much. 
There is always work for a warehouse keeper. To right, Mora. First of all, the merchants give me problems. They hunt hares, deers, and wolves just for fun. With my arrows and quarrels. Why with yours? Where do you think my, the entire supply of ammunition comes from? The mercenaries are paid to carry out Mora work. Therefore, I equip everyone with a quiver full of arrows and a batch of quarrels. And what exactly is your problem? You will collect new deliveries for me. But I'm no merce. I don't want to hear but. You get me new arrows and quarrels. Will I get the delivery handed over implicitly? Of what avail is one delivery? I need fletchers and quarrel makers which send me the stuff. Then I will look out for traders. Good, Mora. I'll take care of the payment for the monthly delivery. Do you need many quarrels? For quarrels, not the quantity, but the quality of missiles matter. If I receive 200 normal and 300 bladed quarrels per month, then I will be satisfied. From Trellis, I get exactly the merchandise I want to have. Sounds expensive. Yes, Mora. It will be very expensive. The local blacksmith has high prices. That's why I give you now 200 gold coins to take with you and another 300 if a quarrel maker for bladed quarrels is found. If you run away with the gold, then I will kill you myself. Anything else? Yes, set yourself to work now, Mora. By the way, how many arrows do you need? I don't know exactly, but it should at least be 900 pieces per month. Jesus! Do you know a trader in Sildan who sells such quantity of arrows? If I would know one, then I would not have sent you out, Mora. However, there is some kind of warehouse in Sildan. Consult the warehouse keeper, Givis. Or Jives? Jives. Hey, Mora. Somebody stole the gold goblets I saved for the Hashishin. You are new to this place and nobody knows you. You will find the guiltier for me. And until you know, I will not trade with you. Do you know who stole the gold goblets? It was me. You made a big mistake, Mora. That will cost an arm and a leg. Let's see how much you have. That's good enough so I can pay Gamal. It's been a pleasure dealing with you, Mora. But in the future, do not touch any of my things again. Two thousand? Lordy. But I didn't want to lose the person who's teaching me thieving. <laughs> that that was the whole logic behind me not ratting him out. I don't know if it was worth it though. There's other teachers. Okay. Can I talk to you guys about what I read? Actually? First a break. Nope. Fisherman. Can I have we your helmet? Late. Stop! Not one step further. Let me pass. You can go in. <laughs> Stop! Not one step further. Just let me pass. Fine. Broken. Do you guys care if I do this? I hope you don't. Bone bow. Huh. This might just be one of the best chests I've ever found, but it will depend. Yeah, pretty much. Sorry, Hashishimbo. You're off the hook. Lectern, so I assume it's not going to teach us anything. Eep. Okay. One ladle. He wants. Oh no. Not again. Please. Uh, you aren't an orc. How did you get in here? Who are you? My name is Wenzel. I am a paladin and come from Montera. I fought against the orcs there. What happened in Montera? One morning, shortly before dawn, the orcs surrounded the city, and that was that. Almost half of us were killed, all the rest were enslaved. Where is this Montera? In the north. You must cross the mountains that separate the coast from the interior to get there. I rescued your chalice. Well done. I am proud of you. The chalice must be taken to the fire mages. 
It is a fire chalice. Very rare and extremely valuable. Alas, I don't know anything else about the thing. Why are you a prisoner and not a slave? One of their slave hunters dragged me here and sold me to the orcs. Since then, the orcs have come every day and interrogated me. They want me to betray the location of the rebel camp Reddick. What do you know about Reddick? Reddick is the only refuge for us rebels here on the coast. I would sooner die than tell anyone where my brothers are hiding. Where can I find rebels besides in Reddick? They are everywhere. Throughout the land, there are groups opposing the orcs. They hide in the woods, in caves, or in the cliffs. The orcs will never find them all. We will only rest when our kingdom is once again free. I'm gonna save before I take that option because I don't actually want to liberate the city because we still have that one quest of for the arrows and the corals and stuff. And I've read somewhere that if you liberate too many cities, they'll just automatically become hostile. And I do want to, you know, explore every city and do the quests in every city. So let's see what he has to say. Let's liberate the city. There are many who propose to do that with me. And? You are the first whom I trust to succeed. But nevertheless, it will be awfully difficult for just the two of us. Think hard about it. I need a weapon. I need my sword. Where can I find your sword? Did the orcs take it? No, you will find it in a wolf den near Montera. There you will find a sword. It has never let me down. I hid it there before Gamel took me prisoner. Okay, we have a new quest to find his lost sword. Okay, so we have a bunch of new quests, but they're all at different locations. Um, the only thing that I'm still going to check out is the sea. I think. Yes, because these are all in different locations. If I can go to the fire mage over here and give the chalice. Now, the 90 reputation, I'm going to assume, is when I give up the swine herd, but... I don't know if I can do that without any consequences. Also, I basically don't want to. But here is me assuming that it's either for destroying Redok or for giving up the swine herd. So, what place? Vanguard, Faring, Gotha, Montera. They have mentioned Montera a couple of times. Let's see on this map. It would be the most logical thing to go to. We're here, so then we just have to get over here. It makes sense. So we're going to go to Red Oak, which is pretty much somewhere over here, I guess. And then... The next episode, we're going to make our way to Montera. Look at the flies. It is horrendous. Maybe we should find a more detailed map of every location we're in. I don't know if they have those, but... And if we need our hunting skill or anything, or thieving skill up, then at least we know we can come back here. Magic. But what's happening here? Orcs? Seriously? Highland. Well done. Tangling with me was a mistake. Guys. Your location's, like, compromised. Okay, let's go. I heard more sounds. But everything seems to be fine. Okay. I also don't have the health to get mingled in that kind of stuff. So... No, there's orcs. 
down there? I'm so confused. Oh, maybe with the wood people. Okay, no, I cannot talk to him about it. Oh, alchemist bench though. How many can we make? Seven? We'll take seven. And we'll drink at least one. Maybe two. That still gives us a plus five balance. Okay, I'm quickly gonna check out. It has to be the woodcutters, right? Got it. You good? Take care. Okay, nobody cares. It's not like in Fallout 4 where they'll talk to you and be like, thank you so much. Okay, so I thought we were gonna be able to get our fire chalice like to the guy, but nope. They tell you to bring it to the fire mages, but not just any fire mage. Okay, there's a little road here. And a road map thing. Ardea. We don't need to be in Ardea. Cave done. Bunch of stuff. Randomly. That was the entrance to the southern caves. Some sun wheat. I don't know if we're going in the right direction, but this is pretty much the only direction. Why are you guys all pointing the other way? Cape okay, done. Oh lord. I was so busy looking at the markers that I didn't see that there. Some boars. Don't fall down. Don't fall down. Should have gone to Jens with my pelts. Get extra money for them. Yeah, wolves are a handful and if they come in a pack like earlier... So there's Ardea. This is where the or orcs were. There's some vast land in between. Some broken down houses. Oh, we were curious about that thing over there, but I'm afraid it's gonna be skeletons. Fingard. Okay, so next time we're gonna explore that little stone structure and find a marker <laughs> that will lead us to Monterra. 
So that will be it for today. I hope you guys had a great time and I will see you next time on the Scratching Post.